Wendy in Altadena, Leo Laporte, the tech guy. Hi, Wendy. Hey, Leo. Uh, I love how you alternate geek callers with Luddite. <laughs> I'm closer to the Luddite. I was accused by my 20-something nephew of being one. So I, Even though feel- I've been on the Internet since he was born. There you go. Hey, young whippersnapper, he doesn't know from anything. Yeah, well, here's my worry today, Leo. I saw a sign for an electronics recycling event at a local mm. high school. So I need to make room in my less than 500 square foot bungalow. Yes. And I can I just dump my two old Dells without worrying about cleaning my data uh, off? Them? See, that's always the issue is the hard drive. A friend of mine who is an MIT researcher named Sim- Simpson Garfinkel some years ago bought used hard drives on eBay. And because he was curious, how many of these hard drives are wiped? None of them were wiped. Some of them came from bank ATM machines and still had much of the bank information on the hard drive. Wow. (laughs) So the problem with a recycler, electronics recycler, is, yeah, maybe. And by the way, these are great events because most of your electronics, including wires, batteries, monitors, hard drives, computers, cannot be recycled by normal recyclers. They have to be sent to a special place. Mm-hmm. And uh, so you definitely want to take advantage of this. It is a good idea if you can to wipe the hard drives. You don't have to go crazy with 100 passes. One pass is fine. That's the other thing Simpson found out. Uh, these multi-pass erasing tools, not necessary. But if you can get the computer to boot, I would. Just run it once. There's a program, D-B-A-N. It will run in DOS. It'll run on any Windows machine. Derek's Boot and Nuke. Run that once, it'll wipe it off, and you're good to go. Leo Laporte, the tech guy.